At ArcGIS 10, we're working to make the editing experience more efficient. We've taken and used this facility, or we're going to use this, this facility to demonstrate how you can collect, organize, and exchange enterprise-wide data. I'll begin by starting to edit. When I start editing, you'll notice that a new panel becomes visible, the Create Features panel. This panel enables a more graphical approach to creating and updating information. For example, if I wanted to add a building to this particular facility, I simply need to select the type of building I'd like to create and begin working on the map. To complete the feature, or when I go to complete the feature, you'll notice that I receive some feedback. This feedback indicates where I'm able or what I'm able to snap to. Once my building is created, I'll go ahead and create some additional lighting in the immediate vicinity. To do that, I simply select the type of light I need to create and begin drawing on the map. The next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and extend the fence around the front side of the building. To do that, I'll select the building perimeter fence and click on the map. You'll notice when I do that that a small toolbar becomes enabled. This small toolbar enables me direct access to tools right where I'm working. I'm going to go ahead and trace the front side of the building by setting an offset of 5. When I go to trace the front side of the building, you'll notice that the outline of the building is honored. In addition to creating and updating or creating new features, I'd also like to update information about existing features. So select a building just to the south of where I've been working and take a look at the attributes. You'll notice the condition of the building is populated. The type of the building is obviously populated. However, the use of the building is not. By leveraging an organized geodatabase in the background, I'm able to capitalize on business rules within my environment. So I'm presented with a list, a predefined list of ways to characterize the building. Up to this point, I've shown you a series of different ways to create and update information. Now let me show you how all of it's possible. At the 10 release, we've introduced the concept of feature templates. These feature templates are automatically generated for you when you begin an edit session. If we take a look at the parameters of the, the building template or the fence template in this case, we can see that the default tool is specified, and I'm also able to pre-populate a series of attributes about the information as I'm creating it. So we've taken what used to be a series of different steps and streamlined the process to make the whole editing experience more efficient. Once you understand the concept of feature templates, you're able to edit features across the entire ArcGIS system. At the 10 release, ArcGIS Server has a new capability called the Feature Service. The Feature Service facilitates or enables me to natively create and update simple features from web applications. So applications like this one, written, in, written using our Silverlight API, we're able to access those same feature templates that I've been using before. So I can, again, visit the same feature templates, create the type of light I'd like to create, and simply click on the map. Likewise, I can access the building perimeter fence template, create a fence around this existing building, and once I've done that, I'd like to go ahead and examine the attributes about that particular feature. You'll notice that by simply creating the feature, the information that describes the feature is automatically populated using those same templates that we just used in our desktop application. So now that I've been working with these templates in both desktop and server, I'd like to make these templates accessible to the broader community. In order to do that, I'm going to go back into ArcMap. When I go back into ArcMap, I'd like to create a layer package. And once I create this layer package, I can upload it to ArcGIS Online for other users to take advantage of. 
Once that layer package has been uploaded to ArcGIS Online, I can access it. I'll extract it onto my system. And what this enables me to do is take advantage of work that other people within my organization or within my community have been doing. So we can look at another facility, in this case, Andrews Air Force Base, take advantage of the same feature templates that I've been working with before, and quickly get up and running managing our facility. So I've shown you how a new additions to our editing across the ArcGIS system can make you more efficient while working. I've also shown you how you can upload those templates to ArcGIS Online so other people can capitalize on your work. 